Hi, this is Tom from the Blue Dot, and today we're going to cover app management and battery optimization for your HTC Incredible. This is a bit more advanced than all of our other videos, uh, which were just the phone's camera and phone calls, text messages. But this is something that you really want to know early on. Um, sometimes uh, there's stuff running in the background, um, or even screen brightness will just destroy your battery throughout the day. So if you want your battery to last all day for as long as you want it to, you want to use battery optimization. Uh, to its best. The cool thing about Android phones is that they give you a lot of control over what is running and uh, inside the phone they actually show you um, how much something is taking a battery so you can really optimize what is running and what isn't running. So after turning on your phone we're going to press the options button so we're gonna go right here on this one it's just, it just says menu so we're gonna just tap that down there and go into settings on newer Android phones, uh, it'll just say manage apps somewhere on this menu, but on this one it's just applications, so we're just going to type that. And then it has manage applications inside that, so we're going to go over there. Alright, and right here it's going to give you a few options up here. It'll show downloaded apps, which there's none on this, we just used that. And another handy thing at the bottom, which I don't know if you can see it real well, but uh, it'll have a grayed out section of what is being used and green of what is not. Um, so we have barely anything on this phone, obviously, because this one is brand new. You press all, this will show all the applications that come with the phone. Um, if it's a Verizon phone, it'll have a whole bunch of Verizon uh, applications on here. What's on your SD card, which for this one there's nothing. And the most important one here is running applications take a bit to, to load up. Right now we don't have anything running that we want to turn off at this moment, but if you're using your phone all day, you could have like maps running in the background, which typically you don't want to do because that'll be running your GPS all day. Um, Facebook can sometimes run in the background, um, Skype, things like that. And typically, um, if you're going to be using your phone all day or if you're traveling, you might not want to have those on all, all day. Um, but through this, you can actually select those applications and turn them off. Um, so I just selected Calendar, and right here it'll give you the option to stop it. Um, now you don't want to just stop everything that's running on your phone, because some applications really help your phone uh, run better or be able to get notifications. Um, so anything that's just on right here, like your calendar, your settings, Google services, stuff like that, you want to leave that stuff on. Uh, down at the bottom, too, it'll tell you how much RAM it is taking up uh, on your phone. Uh, RAM is just your phone's memory. If you start having too many things running at once, your phone is going to start being really sluggish and kill its battery. Um, so you want to keep a close eye on that occasionally if your phone starts running really slow on something really simple like Facebook or something like that. You want to check this out, see what's running in the background, and turn it off. Now, when we go back to the regular menu here in applications, all this stuff, manage applications, running services, storage use, that is actually all in the same thing. It's sort of redundant that they have them in separate menus here because if we type this and go to running on this, then let's say we go back and go to running services, it brings us to the same exact screen just with that highlighted first. Now let's check out uh, battery use. Um, on this phone you're going to be going into your settings just like before and going to about phone. And you're going to go into battery right here. So in here we have a few options. It'll tell you uh, how much battery life is left in your phone. And then right below that is battery use. I'm going to tap on that. And this will tell you what your battery is using the most. Um, now right now display, which is typical, uh, which will typically take up the most of your battery life, uh, is at 82%. Now that doesn't mean that it's using 82% of your whole battery, it just means the amount of power it's using right now, uh, it's using 82% of that power. Um, now with display, you can actually tap on it. It'll give you the option to go into that application or um, the display settings and play around with it. Um, typically the uh, screen brightness is set for automatic and I would suggest just leaving that but if you're going to be using your phone all day and be nowhere near a charger you might actually want to turn your brightness down all the way so you can do that by going to brightness right now it's on automatic so we're gonna unselect that 
and this gives you the option to glide this all the way down or all the way up. Uh, all the way up is going to just kill your battery. All the way down, it'll be a little hard to see, but it'll make your phone last a whole lot longer throughout the day. Um, but if you're going to be near charger by at least evening, I would suggest leaving it automatic uh, so that you can actually read it when you're in different uh, environments. A cool application to have if you don't want to go through all those options manually every single day uh, is an app called Juice Defender. Um, you can actually um, optimize Juice Defender however you want it. It has little options you set so that when you turn on your phone um, it will do a set amount of tasks and when you put your phone to sleep it'll turn off a set amount of tasks so that when your phone is sitting in your pocket it doesn't try to connect to GPS or your Facebook or your email all the time. Juice Defender will make sure it doesn't use that until you turn on your phone if you want that option. Um, it can actually lengthen battery life significantly. Um, but if you don't want to use that application, you can just go through your settings and do it all manually. Um, in our next video, we'll be covering personalization and home screen management. This is Tom for the Blue Dot. Thanks for watching.